Hello all and happy holidays. Today we're going to be going over attack, decay, sustain, and release. Uh, these are fundamental principles of sound design. Uh, you'll see this in every synth that you use um, and it's very important to know. So um, we're going to get into that. Um, first off, a uh, program I'm using is Serum. Um, it costs about 200 bucks and you can pay monthly until you pay off the entire program and there's no interest. Um, but it's a very, very good um, tool to use. It's very visual, so it's great for beginners. And um, that's what we're going to be using today. So, uh, first off, um, we're going to look at the oscillator section here. So right now I just have oscillator A on. Um, the two main ones that you use are oscillator A and oscillator B but you also have sub and you have noise. So these are four different sound sources. Um, as you can see, if oscillator A is on, I play a note. I hear a note. And in fact, to get, right now I have uh, an envelope set up here, but to go back to the factory, basically the factory settings, go to menu up here, go to an init preset, and if you're just loading up Serum, this is what it uh, should be on. But we'll click on that. And now you kind of see a square here in the envelope. So right now, if I play, it'll just play the note full volume. And then when I let go of the note, it'll stop. So, so uh, yeah, so that's, that's oscillator A playing here since that's let up. If I click on... Uh, oscillator A. Now none of them are lit up, so none of them are playing. So if I play, you won't get any noise because those are your only sound choices. No noise. Hitting the keyboard. None. So we'll turn back on oscillator A. And now we're gonna we'll go back to this section here later. But uh, right now, probably in another video. But uh, right now we're gonna go down to the envelope section down here. So. Uh, with the envelope section, you have, as I mentioned, attack, decay, sustain, and release. So we're going to mention attack first. So this is how quickly the sound reaches max volume. So right now it reaches max volume at 0.5 milliseconds. So as you can imagine, that's incredibly quick, and our ears won't really notice that there's that it's going from zero to max. So if we move this, let's move it way up to say a second or 1.1 seconds let's say if I play it now you're gonna hear it gradually go to that max volume so that's pretty much that you also have this curve that uh, you can move and you can visually see what it's doing to the sound so if I have it way down here it's gonna ramp up right at the last second so and if I have it moved up to here, you're just clicking on this piece here to move it, and that's it. So now if I have it way up here, it gets, there, you know, it gets close to max very fast. So we'll reset this back down to, you know, here, whatever. Um, and yeah, so that's basically attack. There's no, no uh, nothing more to it than that. So next thing we're going to show, we'll get to decay. Um, but in order for decay to be activated, your sustain has to be uh, lower than max. So 0 dB, as it's showing here, that is max um, for your sustain as far as your level is concerned. So if I lower this, sustain is going to go lower, and you can visually see that here. So if I play a note now, it's going to go from the lowest to the max, and then it's going to go to here, which is the sustain level. And as is implied in the name, as long as I have that note held, it's going to note held. It's going to sustain at that level. And when I let go, it's going to go. Um, there's the sound's going to be done. So I'll play it. And here it's. I'm holding down the key. It's staying there. As soon as I let go, sound's going to be over. So that's sustain. Decay is how long it takes from that max volume to go to that sustain level. So as you can once again visually see, if I bring it back, then it's gonna go from that max level to that sustain level a lot faster. So you'll hear it go, ooh. All right, that's a bad example. <laughs> I'll just hit the key. So 
So that's that. Um, so again, I could extend it way out past where I can see right now. So that's that. So I'll bring this back. Uh, next up is release. So that, if I have that on, right now it's too short to notice the difference. Uh, so if I extend this out, then you'll notice it. So if I hit a note now, it's going to go from the bottom to the top to this sustain level. As long as I have that note held, it's going to stay there, but when I let go, then it's going to fade out over this period of time, 1.08 seconds. Let go. You can hear the fade. So that's the attack, decay, sustain, and release. Uh, the hold that is here that isn't in um, all synths. Most of them actually don't have it. But uh, this can be useful as well if you want it to hold over um, this period of time here. Also, if you need to, you know, zoom in, zoom out, you can click here, drag up and down. So, uh, bring this out, and that way, if I play it, it's basically just holding it at max for this amount of time, 1.05 seconds. Then it's going to go down to the sustain level. Um, minus 14.8 dB which is volume dB is basically volume uh, for these purposes um, and it's going to reach that level over 1.05 seconds so from here to here that's 1.05 seconds because of the case set at that so that's attack decay sustain and release and uh, great thing about this is if I go through I'll go through some random preset I don't know D lead one I guess if I go to this, press OK. Right now you can actually see what it's doing to the, the volume um, or to the level. So if I, articulation I should say. So if I play a note, um, you, can see the, you can see that it starts off max volume, goes down to zero. Um, and that's all through attack, decay, sustain, and release. So if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to take time to reach that max level, I turn up the attack, 1.07 seconds, so from 0 to max, 1.07 seconds, and then it's going to fade out. So that's that. You can change the sustain level, so instead of going to 0, you can have it held at a certain level. So you can see how this could be very useful. You could create like a pluck sound if you wanted to. So we could bring this down. It was kind of already out of pluck sound, but let's bring this decay way down. Bring the sustain down to zero. So, get that. Which is a little bit different than... So, that's pretty much that. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's a little intro to a tactic K. Well, that pretty much is a tactic K sustain release. There's not much more to say. And uh, hold, at least for Serum, they got hold. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it.